As much of a chore as it sounds, updating firmware is an important step in order to maximize the potential of the lens's operations. As an example, a recent firmware release by Tamron allows you to use some lenses on Canon R and Nikon Z mount cameras. To see the up-to-date list of all compatible lenses and functions, please check the Tamron website. First of all, we need to check, does my lens need a firmware update? Once your tapping console is attached to your computer and the lens is attached, you can update the device itself and check if your lens has the latest firmware version installed. The tapping utility software will automatically check whether there is a new firmware version for your lens. If there is one available, it will ask you to run the update. Alternatively, you can navigate to the firmware button on the main screen. After you click the OK button, the update will start automatically. Be careful though, not to accidentally disconnect the console from the computer while updating. And be aware that after updating the firmware, you won't be able to go back to an earlier version. If you've already customized the settings on your lens, make sure to back up your current configuration as a template on your computer before updating the firmware. After the update, your lens will revert back to factory default mode. You can install your settings again from your computer after updating. Now I think it's about time to take a look at some more photography. In the end, we're here to take quality pictures. One of my recent trips brought me to East Java, where I took the 24-70 and a 70-200 G2.